So originally a tea house garden built 1636, time of Hosokawa 1586 1641, a daimyo feudal lord, the early Edo period, ruled in Kumoto, Kumamoto. Beautiful Japanese garden. I look for, I think, a Japanese garden, if not all, is some kind of point of view of ambience, tranquility, sometimes even more than that. Sometimes the gardens are designed to reflect something in particular, like other great mountains. I don't know. Like any other lord from any other such period in any other culture, they usually got to enjoy this solitarily. It was all for them. What I'm looking for is just pretty images. Here a hallway of Tori leading up to that shrine. Don't know who or what this is. But at least we get an idea of some traditional garb, particularly the headgear. Some nice expanse of grounds. I'm betting that the Lord had these hills created. This is a nice entry. And you can see that at one time, steps were created across the pond in total. They've taken them out here to keep the visitors from going out to those little islands. But one can imagine having a little building out there and having tea or something with your consort, or ten consorts.
Here in a pretty little canal way, but with some truly gorgeous water-based flowers. I'd guess them to be about seven or eight inches across. The equivalent of a great blue heron, or in fact, maybe a great blue heron. I can't tell for sure. It's about ready to nail something. It's not a great blue heron. It's not big enough, number one. Doesn't have the crown feathers, number two. Got one, dove in after it. I think that thing's going down alive, yep. Big uh, old shrine just outside the gates of the park. Just my battery gets ready to shut down. find a restaurant to eat in uh, anywhere around here including the main drag that I was that was nearby I mean like within four or five blocks um, one place I went into was a bar and they wanted 246 yen just as a cover charge and that was at five o'clock uh, and I thought that's not something that's going to happen to me um, so I decided well I'll skin the cat in a different way. I went into one of the grocery stores that I was around, and they usually have these set um, takeaway uh, lunches or dinners or whatever. So this is what I'm going to try. That looks like potato. This is some kind of meat. That looks like cheese. Don't know what that looks like. Don't know what that looks like. Some kind of, of uh, a pickled um, vegetable of some sort. Probably for both of these. And then, of course, rice. And these just look so much like chocolate, but don't be deceived. I won't be convinced they're chocolate, so I try them. Just finished taking uh, a soak in the uh, pool that I showed you, the soaking pool. Boy, that is nice. At the Kumamoto Railroad Station, where I used my JR Pass to get to very quickly. So I've got a couple hours to blow before the bus leaves for Takachiho. And I picked this up in the store. It looks like a nice crisp roll. It tastes nice and crisp. And it looks like it has a few, it's like, like a very light cream cheese inside of it with some bacon. It's very good actually. We <clears throat> Westerners is that it's very, very difficult in Japanese society to find a waste paper basket. Um, the philosophy and the cultural norm here is you get rid of your own trash wherever you normally get rid of it but don't expect the government to get rid of it for you so that man dropped a piece of paper he immediately dropped down and picked it up and put it in his pocket yesterday I got off the train and left a packet of uh, garbage if you will uh, sitting in the little net pocket in my seat and I remembered that I left it when I intended to throw it away. So I left my bag on the platform, ran back into the empty train, grabbed it, came back out, and there was a receptacle on the outside, fortunately, uh, where uh, we could uh, dump it, and I did. But that's how complete is that prohibition. And there's almost a near prohibition to my eating in public like this, except this is probably reasonably acceptable in a railroad station. Inside that light, creamy cheese type of sauce or whatever it is, more like a dip, um, are little chunks of uh, slices, if you will, of um, potato. Way with escalators at either end when they're working <clears throat> to get you to the bus station and away, and the train station, and down there. To the left is bus stop number three for Takachihio. 
and a Japanese lady who speaks pretty good English. Uh, I learned her English and lives now in uh, Melbourne, Australia. And she was very proactively helping myself and two German fellows who missed the bus yesterday. Uh, they didn't know for sure which bus it was, so we're all en route.